So what do you, my friend, do when you have a tilted image? You rotate it, right? So when you rotate your image, there are two things that can happen. One, you're going to lose some details in the corners of the image which might be very crucial. Or two, you're going to leave white spaces which you cannot get away with. Let me illustrate. For example, I had clicked this image way back in Hyderabad. So I feel it's a little bit tilted. So get the crop tool. Let's get the crop tool. Press C. And when I try to straighten it, as you can see, when I try to straighten it, I'm losing some details in the corners. And one of the most important details which I don't want to lose is her feet. Right? And even if I extend it, even if I extend the bars of the crop right to the edges, what will happen is I'm leaving some spaces. I'm leaving some transparent spaces, which I, again, when I save this image as a JPEG, these spaces will be white. So I have a problem here, how to go about it. But don't you worry, I have a beautiful solution to this problem. Hey there, this is Anmesh, and today we are going to learn how to deal with tilted images, especially the corners. So let's get to it, coming up. So let's jump straight into Photoshop. So I have imported this image. Now uh, let's try to rotate this. So select the crop tool, the shortcut to which is C. Now let's rotate this. Okay. So this is the value that I think is straightened. Now without you press the enter button, what do you have to do? Let's drag the corners to the end of the image, to the borders of the image. Simply drag it. It might leave some space, but that's okay. We are going to fill that later. So let's do that fairly quickly. Let's press the enter button once you're done. Now this is done very easily. Now our job is to fill those gaps using the samples around here. So how do you fill those gaps? Extremely simple. Select the magic wand tool. Make sure right click, select the magic wand tool and click here once. Okay, make sure that the plus magic wand tool is selected. To select the plus magic wand tool, click here. Okay, so the plus uh, magic wand tool with the plus will be selected. Again, click here, click on the white spaces. Okay, so the white spaces are selected. If that, if that was not selected, you would click here. Okay, once the white spaces are selected, what you would do is you would go to select, modify, and then expand okay make sure the value is 4 so you have to have the value 4 that's kind of the magic number let's click OK let's see what that does what that does is let's look here carefully so we had made the selection of the white spaces but when we expanded the selection what happened was the selection expanded and got into this image a little bit how much by for pixels. Now, this has its advantage, which I will explain it to you just in a moment. Now, let's go to Edit, Fill, and select Content Aware and click OK. Now, you just have to wait for the computer to guess what do you fill right there using the samples, using the walls, or the textures that are around those selections. So, let's wait a little bit. Yes. So as you can see, let's deselect that. To deselect that, press Ctrl and D. If you're using a Mac, press Command and D. So it has done a beautiful job in filling up the white spaces here, here, but here it has just screwed up a little bit. So we can solve that too. That's not a big problem. Now let me explain you why we did expand the selection. We expanded the selection because we wanted the selection to enter a little bit into the image so that the selection has a clue as to what to pick, uh, what to pick texture off. If we hadn't done that, the selection will, uh, would have no clue as to where to pick the texture from. So that was why we did that. So let's solve this problem right here. There are a couple of ways to solve this problem, but the easiest way is to use the patch tool. So right click here and select the patch tool and carefully, let's zoom in a little bit and carefully 
select the areas where you want the select control D select the areas where there is a little bit of irregularity very carefully and we have made a selection now let's zoom out a little bit and let's drag the selection to the place where you want to replace it with let's leave it here we left it and see how beautifully it has done a job to cover her feet so the, uh, so it has done a pretty good job of solving the problem so that was the beauty of the content aware fill and trust me that's hard on the money so guys that's all for today hope you enjoyed this tutorial and hope it helped you and if it did please don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video till then happy photoshopping and stay tuned